Marquise Medical Talks. Personal Injury, Leaders in Alabama Medical. What is a soft tissue injury? Experiencing an automobile accident can be a dramatic event. Following an accident, you may face some medical injuries that will require a trip to the doctor's office. While every case is different, some injuries are more frequently encountered following an accident than others. Not all accident injuries end up with a broken arm or scratches. Among one of the more common injuries that are likely to occur following a vehicle collision, soft tissue injuries are often overlooked. Soft tissue injuries generally refer to damages to the soft connective tissues in your body. These include tendons. Tendons refer to fibrous tissues made of collagen and surround another tissue called endotendon. Their job is to connect the muscles to bones. These tendons help your body move efficiently. Muscles. Muscles are a soft tissue made up of cells containing protein filaments. These substances allow contractions and relaxation. These are an essential component of the body as they dictate both voluntary movements, such as riding a bike, and involuntary movements, such as heart and digestive processes. Ligaments. Like tendons, ligaments are fibrous tissues of collagen. Ligaments differ from tendons as they are more elastic and serve a slightly different purpose. Ligaments are responsible for connecting bones to other bones at joints. They are also important for movement. Types of Soft Tissue Injury While there are several different types of soft tissue injury, sprains and strains are some of the most common injuries in all accidents. Sprains A sprain occurs when you bend your joints too far and the ligaments get damaged. These accidents can result in excessive stretching or the complete tearing of ligaments. Many people have encountered this injury when they've walked along an uneven sidewalk or stepped on their foot wrong and injured their ankle. Strains Strains are very similar to sprains. They happen when your body bends in a certain way that causes the tendons to get stretched out or break. Both sprains and strains have similar symptoms. These can include local pain inflammation, swelling, and weakness in the affected region. Other symptoms related to injuries incurred at the time you received your sprain or strain may occur. What is the difference between neck strains and neck sprains? Neck strains and sprains refer to similar phenomena, more commonly known as whiplash. These injuries are incredibly common in automobile accidents and other events that involve a traumatic impact. Your neck and head are delicate. When a car stops short and forces your neck to jerk back, the sudden movement can result in injury. While neck sprains refer to ligament damage and neck strains refer to tendon damage, the two terms are often interchangeably used. Due to the similarity of symptoms and treatment, differentiation is usually not necessary. Some of the telltale signs of whiplash include, but are not limited to, pain in the neck or lower head, neck stiffness, inflammation, and swelling. You may expect to experience other symptoms from injuries associated with the whiplash incident. Back pain, herniated discs, and concussions are all very possible. What should I do after an accident? After an accident of any kind, you must visit a doctor immediately to assess your condition. Some injuries are not as apparent as others, but this doesn't mean you shouldn't treat them. Don't be surprised if you don't experience any symptoms for a couple of days, as some injuries do not fully manifest until after the incident. Whiplash especially is notorious for only rearing its ugly head after a couple of days, although some do experience immediate pain. Going to the doctor is crucial for preserving your health following an accident. Additionally, visiting a physician is a smart move from a legal standpoint. You need to be able to get the treatment you deserve and gather medical records for documentation. What soft tissue injury treatments can Marquise Medical help me find? What help will you need exactly? Soft tissue injuries vary in treatments depending on the exact nature of the injury. While some incidents may require invasive procedures, 
A majority of soft tissue injuries heal on their own with adequate time and rest. Most patients with soft tissue injuries need help with pain management or knowing how to adapt their lifestyle during the injury. It is essential to talk to a trained medical professional instead of treating it yourself. Licensed physicians undergo years of certification and training to be able to identify and address injuries. They can let you know what you can and should do to optimize your recovery. Taking matters into your own hands is risky, as you may easily misdiagnose your condition or overlook an additional medical concern. It can also lead one to neglect proper care and further damage your body. We want to take the chance to emphasize the importance of seeking proper medical care after an accident. There is no concern too small for a doctor to investigate. If you don't know where to go, our team at Marquise Medical would be happy to help you find a doctor near you. Our trusted team of professionals has specialized experience dealing with accident-related injuries. We aim to give you all of the medical and legal help that you need following an accident. Thank you for joining us for this installment of Marquise Medical Talks. We hope that you enjoyed this podcast and invite you to listen in on the rest of our series. We hope our podcast series helps us connect with our audience at home during these trying times. Our informative talks aim to give you insider information about the medical and legal world of personal injuries. Stay tuned for the next episode of Marquise Medical Talks. We are now streaming on all major listening platforms. To listen, visit MarquiseMedicalCenter.com for more information.